welcome back to my channel. Guys, I have been obsessed with this boucle furniture trend. Boucle is technically a yarn that is very textured. And so when you put it together and create a sheet of fabric, that fabric is extremely textured and like kind of looped, but very soft and beautiful. So you might be familiar with this fabric in luxury coats and clothing, like a really nice Chanel coat or something. But lately it has taken over the furniture home decor world i have seen this all over chairs couches pillows blankets everywhere however this fabric is very expensive and hard to come by the cheapest authentic boucle fabric i have seen has been 55 dollars a yard and the furniture made out of this stuff it can also be very expensive so with all that being said i thought it would be a wonderful idea to try to recreate this furniture trend in the ikea akero chair this ikea diy hack is a super simple and easy hack that i think anybody can do i have absolutely no experience in upholstering furniture and this was actually surprisingly easy and i was able to make this chair at a fraction of the price i think you guys are gonna really like this DIY but before we get into it be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and consider subscribing if you enjoy all things home decor DIY furniture room makeovers and everything else in between I upload every Sunday or at least try to because I'm not gonna lie life gets in the way sometimes so definitely be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the fun videos I have coming up now without further ado let's get on with the IKEA DIY hack so the first thing I need to do to get get started with this DIY is to find a chair. So I'm headed over to Ikea to find one. Okay, so I'm at the Ikea as is section and I found these acro chairs for only $100. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick these up and try to do an Ikea book with them. So yeah. So I ended up picking it up. However, because it was in the as is section, I had to purchase it as is and it wasn't gonna fit in my car. So I ended up having to deconstruct the chair for me to be able to take it home. So finding the chair was super easy, but finding the fabric was not. I was looking for boucle fabric everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean I went to every single fabric store in my area and could not find it. It literally searched for weeks. So I ended up one day finally going to a Hobby Lobby pretty far from where I lived and I ended up finding Sherpa fabric. I found it! <laughs> Y'all, I found it. I ended up finding it at Hobby Lobby for, I believe it was like $10 a yard. And then I got it for 30% off. So I ended up buying three and a half yards for less than $30, which is really good. The boucle fabric I was about to get on Etsy was $55 the yard. So I finally have everything I need to get started on this project. I ended up going with this poly fleece Sherpa fabric from Hobby Lobby. I literally went to about six different stores, I think, to try to find boucle or something similar to it. And it was just impossible this diy should be super simple plan on just literally covering the entire chair in this fabric the chair comes in three different pieces there's two back pieces and then the middle piece where you sit on i don't like how the chair has those two back pieces so i'm actually gonna cover it up with the fabric i don't think it should be too hard to do that hopefully not so to get started with this DIY, I'm gonna work on the middle portion of the chair first. I am first going to remove all of the existing fabric off of the chair using the staple lifter. I picked up the staple lifter for only a couple of dollars and it was extremely handy throughout this entire process. So I highly recommend picking one up. The staples on this chair were really hard to remove. So instead of focusing on trying to remove the staples, I focused on removing the fabric. I used my staple lifter to get in between the staples and pulled the fabric off of the chair. I did that throughout the entire chair until I was able to remove the fabric from it. All right, so moment of truth. I pulled off all of the fabric. Now let's see what it looks like under here. Okay. 
not bad. Once the fabric was out of the staples, it was a lot easier to remove them using the staple lifter. I used these pliers to remove any staples that were sticking out of the chair. So now that the staples are removed from the chair, I'm going to start working on adding the new fabric to it. I'm using the seam ripper to deconstruct the old chair sleeve that I just removed. I'm doing this so that I have a template for my new fabric. I'm using these pins to keep the fabric in place and using my staple gun to attach the new fabric to the chair. You want to make sure that you pull your fabric really tight before you staple it to make sure that there's no wrinkles in your chair. So now that the first piece is done, it's time to work on the two side pieces. I'm going to go ahead and remove the legs and remove the fabric and staples just like I did on the first piece. Once the fabric and staples are removed, it's time to add the fabric to the chair. I'm actually going to sew the fabric together, so I'm going to cut out two 30 by 38 pieces of fabric, which are going to be the two sides of the chair. I'm also going to cut out one 28 by 38 piece of fabric, which is going to be the back of the chair. Finally, I'm going to cut out two 4 by 22 pieces of fabric, which are going to cover the front arms of the chair. I'm going to make sure that I pin the fabric together while it's on the chair. That way I can see how the fabric lies on the chair and make any changes to it before I sew it together. Now that the sleeve is made, I'm covering the chair with it and stapling the fabric to the interior of the chair. Now it's time to construct the chair. I'm going in and adding the middle portion and securing it using the bolts that came with it. Once I fixed the chair to my liking, I went ahead and stapled the rest of the chair. Okay, so now that the main portion of the chair is done, the only thing that is left is to make the seat cushion for the back of the chair. Okay, so I finally finished making my cushion. Not gonna lie, making this cushion wasn't too bad. I did not record exactly how I was able to make this cushion, but I will definitely leave a very helpful tutorial down below. So the chair is finally done and I am shook with how good it looks. I think you guys are gonna really like it. So without further ado, here is the final reveal. DIY hack. What do you guys think about it? I think this chair came out so good even though it's not made of authentic boucle. I think it's a pretty good dupe for the other boucle furniture pieces that are out there for a fraction of the cost. This chair ended up costing me less than $150 to do. I think this is such a great DIY to do especially if you are really liking the boucle trend but don't want to pay the boucle prices. If you guys decide to do this DIY definitely be sure to share it with me over on my Instagram. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to click the like button so that I know you enjoyed it. And as always, be sure to hit subscribe if you enjoy all things home decor. Bye!